Welcome to the On Deck Podcast presented by Line Star, your top MLB player prop bets for today, plus our home run calls of the day. Alongside my co-host Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville. Tyler held it down for us yesterday with the picks because I was at Monday Night Football and as a Jets fan, it was a very miserable experience. So Tyler, I'm moving through the stages of grief after last night's beatdown against my Jets, but you know, we'll get through this show. What did you think of last night's Monday Night Football game? Yeah, I don't feel bad for you, uh, <laughs> but it was an interesting game. I mean, CMC getting ruled out was a surprise to everybody, and Mason just came up with a huge game and made it not matter. <laughs> yeah. On the plus side, we hit two of our three prop bets, which was mm-hmm. awesome. So, hey, nah, we'll take wins where we can get them these days, especially with me yeah, being my a Jets fan. touchdown call as well. Nice. All right. So yeah. cashed out on our Monday Night Football preview. Make sure if you haven't already to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below. If we go two for two on our picks, one randomly selected commenter will win $50 and we'll announce it on tomorrow's show. And you'll also be subscribed so you know we're coming out with all of our Thursday night preview or Monday night show, all the shows that we've got coming out in football land as well. So, but it's baseball. We, we're talking baseball now, which is a good thing for me after last night's game. So let's get into today's picks that are available on Underdog Fantasy Sleeper, Chalkboard, Parlay Play. And if you don't have those apps, download them, use the promo code LINESTAR, and you'll get a deposit match plus one for any month of LINESTAR. So let's get into today's slate. We've got a nice slate for today. So Tyler, where are you headed for your main prop bet of the day? I got to go to Anthony Santander, over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs. I just don't think this line should really be there. Line star projection is all the way up at three. Consensus is 2.2. He's hitting 292 with a 229 ISO versus right-handed pitching over the last 20 games. And Crawford versus him, his BVP numbers, he's hitting 364 with a 273 ISO versus Crawford in 11 plate yeah. attempts. Meanwhile, Crawford allowing... 575 ERA, 258 ISO, and a home run on 7% of the plate attempts to left hand bats. I think Santander, who is uh, the first switch hitter since na- or 2016 to have a 40 home run season, gets over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs today. And speaking of home runs, he is second on today's MLB Dinger Report for most likely to hit a home run. So maybe something else to sprinkle into your uh, entry for today. But Either way, liking Anthony Santander in a great spot today. Tyler, for my pick, I think for my main pick, I'm going to go to your Padres, actually, and one of the hottest Let's hitters go. out of the Padres. We're going Luis Arise. Over one and a half hits, runs, and RBI. Line stars projection here is 2.2, and we're talking about a hot hitter who's been over this line seven of the last 10 games, and in fact, 60% of the season. Over the last seven days, he's batting 435, and we've got a nice situation here, a lefty bat with a 337 average and a 783 OPS versus right-handed pitching. Today, facing Seattle righty George Kerr, Kirby, who actually gives up worse splits to lefty bats. So this is a great spot for a rise. He also has better splits on the road, and this game is in Seattle. And he's also going up against a Seattle bullpen that ranks 30th to lefty bats. So I like the spot here for Luis Arise. So I'm riding with one of your Padres bats for today, just over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. I also like the fact that he leads off for the Padres. So might get an extra AB in there as well, especially on the road. So I like the odds there for Luis Arise over one and a half hits, runs, RBIs. And now it is bonus bets time. What else you got for us today? I'm going to go with Connor Norby, over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs. Lion Star projections, 2.7. Consensus, 2.1. He's been over in 64% of games so far. And he's hitting 312 with a 333 ISO versus right-handed pitching over the last 20 games. You also have a bullpen game for Pittsburgh, and it's a very poor bullpen. So I like uh, picking on them with Norby. All right, for my pick, Tyler, it's been a rough week for New York sports fans. The Giants are miserable. The Jets, also miserable. So who can we rely on to pick us up on this Tuesday? Aaron Judge. Let's go Aaron Judge over one and a half bases. I got the gavel out. 
all rise for the judge here. Line Star's projection for this particular prop is 2.9. And while Judge has only been over this three of the last 10, he was two for four last night against Kansas City. And this is the guy who leads MLB in OPS. So I like taking the over here on Aaron Judge any day, really. But especially today, this is a guy with a 355 ISO against right-handed pitching and going up against a pretty good righty in Seth Lugo for the Royals, who he's actually just 0 for 5 against. But I like the odds of him if he gets up against that bullpen for the Royals, who are 25th in opponent average since August 1st. Now, Judge has yet to homer in September, but I think he's in a pretty good spot to do it today. He still leads Major League Baseball in average exit velocity, hard hit percentage, and barrels per plate attempts. And we've also got a nice five-mile-an-hour breeze out to right center in this one at Yankee Stadium, where Judge obviously loves to perform in front of the the fans. He's got better splits at home, so I like the spot here for Aaron Judge for over one and a half bases, but could go yard as well. He is, after all, Line Star's top projected player to hit a homer today on the MLB Dinger Report. So like that one there. And then the next one I'm going to give you, the Oakland A's have been cash money for us, so why not go right back to them? Brent Rooker, over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. Or you could take over one and a half bases. That's actually a scorcher on underdog fantasy. I, in fact, already placed this bet along with Judge. Line Star's projection here is 2.5 for the hits, runs, RBI category. And we're talking about Rooker, who's got a 424 average in the month of September, an 1185 OPS over the last week, which is 12th highest in Major League Baseball. He's also top 5% barreled balls over the last 14 days. So just hitting the ball really well. And today he's going up against Houston righty Spencer Aragetti who ranks 226 first righty bats. So don't mind taking the Oakland A's bat of Rooker in this one. He's been pretty hot for us lately. So why not go right back to him? Those are your picks for today. For our main entry, though, the 2-0 that we're rolling with today, we are going with Anthony Santander over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs, and combining that with Luis Arise over one and a half hits, runs, RBI, putting it on entry on Underdog Fantasy. So if you'd like to tell us, you can do so there. Or, you know, you can mix and match however you choose. Good luck to you. But if you have some other locks for us, be sure to drop it in the comments. Remember, a comment also enters you into our Prop Bets contest. So if we go two for two on those picks, one randomly selected commenter will win $50. So hopefully we can go two for two today. Or just go, how many did we give out today? Five? Go five for five. It's, you know, it's a struggle for me. I was at Monday Night Football last night. So uh, thinking is hard today, Tyler, especially after the just loss. Man, that was pretty demoralizing. Nonetheless, um, again, if you haven't liked this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and now let's get to our home run calls of the day. Tyler, where are you headed for a bomb on this Tuesday in Major League Baseball action? I'm going to have to go to Tony Taters, who is the ninth switch hitter to ever have a 40 home run season. We're going with Anthony Santander to hit a home run. Nine star has him at a 23.6% chance. He has 42 home runs in the last 150 games. He's hitting 292 with a 20, 229 ISO versus right handed pitching. And Crawford has given up a 258 ISO, a home run on 7.3% of plate attempts to left handed bats. I think Santander is in a great spot for a bomb at Fenway. And if he doesn't get off, one off Crawford, that bullpen's been pretty bad lately. All right, for my pick, I'm going with a little bit of a long shot here. We're going with a Giants rookie, Grant McRae, plus 870. I love the juice here because actually Line Star has him as the third highest projected player to hit a home run today at 23.6% chance. Um, just to put into context, that judge is at 25.8% chance. So the fact that we're getting plus 870 money for a guy that Line Star is projecting to be a top 5% Five hitter in that uh, MLB Dinger report. Love that here. Lefty bat with a 271 ISO. So incredible power against right handed pitching. He had two home runs over the last week, and today he's facing Milwaukee righty Aaron Savali, who's got a 1.60 home run per nine rate. That is fourth highest among all pitchers in Major League Baseball. So he gives up a lot of power, especially to those lefty bats. Now, McCray doesn't exactly have the build of a traditional power hitter. He's 6'2", just 190, but the dude can rake, and he's on fire right now. So I like Grant McCray to hit a bomb today. And at plus 870, like the juice that we're getting, a lot of value here with this home run call. So that's where we're headed. What do you think? 
I hate to say it. He hit two off uh, the Padres last week, you know, yeah. but he's been hitting the ball well. And if you haven't checked out that MLB Dinger Report, today's top five on Line Star, Aaron Judge, Anthony Santander, Grant McRae, Shohei Otani, Juan Soto. So two of our guys there, Tyler, in the top five for Line Star's Dinger odds. So like the value that we're getting. Remember, you can also, you don't have to go for a home run. You can also place these bets over one and a half bases or um, any of those hitter props. If you'd like, you can use the Dinger Report that way as well. We highly endorse that. But make sure to check it out for yourself at linestarapp.com and all of the tools that are available there, including, of course, your NFL tools, the projections, the lineup optimizer, the props AI tool, all the things you need to dominate this week. Hopefully week two goes a little bit better for me, Tyler. I forgot to change my Bengals pick for my Survivor League, so it's we're off to a, to a rough start here, week one. Well, that one's over. <laughs> At least one, th- one less thing to worry about, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for us today. Again, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and drop your lock. We're all in it together to beat the books, so drop your lock. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.